An ocean liner is a totally enclosed system. It has medical, hospitals, emergency rooms, but it has no kitchens in the bedrooms. There's a dining area. And it's inefficient to put a kitchen in every bedroom on the ocean liner. Do you understand that? So they have areas set aside for that. They have a nurse, uh, or several nurses, on the ocean liner. Well, what does a nurse do? A nurse can bandage, she can close in surgery, uh, but there's no reason why the future will not have an automated system for doing that. They can invite a doctor from any area of the globe on the board that boat. They can invite him as a virtual image or as a symbol manipulator, and that doctor can study the condition without being there. So you have a totally different system. That's why I use the term total enclosure systems. Each building generates its own electricity. It provides for all human needs and even grows food in the building or prepares food. Today you have places where you have fast food, you have 15 cooks and waitresses and all that. In the future, you'll be able to extrude the food very rapidly with no people at all. You don't need people. You don't need waiters, cooks and all. What you need is the food handled the way the food is handled by people only much faster. Remember, it takes a doctor time to diagnose. He's got to study the symbols and tell what the problem might be. And scanning by machine is very fast. So I can't tell you exactly what hospitals will look like or what the cities will look like, although we know that beds would be very similar, only they'll be more flexible. And then not only that, the bed will have monitors built in so that if you, there's any kind of emergency, the bed can stimulate you out of that emergency and call for help without you even knowing it. If you had palpitations or unusual physical condition while you're asleep, a staff would arrive.